What could easily pass for an avenue to take a break from the security challenges that have put the social, political and economic landscape of the country on a cliffhanger for quite some time now, especially in some parts of the north, was the wedding of the look-alike daughter of the leader of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adeola, which locked down the social firmament of the nation's capital, Abuja, for two solid days, Friday the 17th and Saturday the 18th of May 2013. The lucky children at the center of the love story are Olua Damilola Ogbekile, daughter of the leader of Nigeria's House of Representatives, and Captain Oluwale Okedigba, son of Brigadier General Okedigba, whose last posting in the military before he retired was head of Nigerian Army Supply and Transport Corps, Eleele Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital. The first stanza of the wedding, the traditional engagement ceremony, had in attendance a diverse assemblage of Nigerians from different parts of the country. Colleagues, associates and friends of both families, particularly from Nigeria's House of Representatives, which is a microcosm of Nigeria where we all fuse into one enlarged family, notwithstanding our ethnic, religious or political inclinations, registered a huge presence at the event. The impressive presence of members of the House of Representatives, led by the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, and other legislators from the eastern and southeastern parts of the country, in addition to their counterparts from northern parts of the country, led by Senator Zainab Kure, is a strong indication that Nigerians determine more than ever before to emphasize more on things that unite us, with the resolute resolve to remain as one indissoluble entity. That was the kind of spirit of love and camaraderie that pervaded every corner of the arena as everyone mingled freely and happily, as they savored the joy of the event, which in itself was an interesting story in the typical way the Yorubas from the southwestern part of the country organized their traditional engagement ceremony. The event took proper shape after members of the groom's family, led by retired Brigadier General Okedigba, his wife and family members went as a group to familiarize themselves and pay homage with their bride's family, where the house leader, Honorable Mulikath Akondia Diola, who was supported by her elder sister, Mrs. Fatima Bamidele, the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Health, as well as former Governor Christopher Alau Akala of Oya State and his wife. <laughs> This was to wet the ground for the coming of the groom, who stormed the arena in company of his friends, colleagues and some family members, as they were ushered in by very rich traditional music. The usual tests were put before them by the mistress of ceremonies, which they scaled through. <laughs> Oluwa Damilola, who graduated from Bowen University, Iwo, in Ocean State, and acquired her master's degree in the UK, was in company of her friends with music in the air, also showed up at the venue, raising the bar of the occasion a notch higher. <laughs> Yeah.
With the bride and groom seated next to each other, the family of the groom makes another move towards their in-laws to pay homage to them, which is returned in equal terms by the bride's family to show that both families have become one and the same. <laughs> The letter of intent from the groom's family was read and the dowry items presented. The couple cut the engagement cake and exchanged rings before hitting the dance floor for the last item that brought the engagement to a close. O -V -E. L -O -V -E. The leader of the House of Representatives, the bride and the groom, were joined by the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, and other honorable members to shake it down to music. A point that was proved at every turn of the wedding of the daughter of the leader of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adeola Oluwa Damilola, to Army Captain Oluwale Okedigba, was the power and influence which a sure magnet for goodwill, if properly managed, will yield very bountiful harvest of positive dividends. At the registry event, which was to put a legal seal to the marriage earlier consummated between Damilola and Captain Oluwale Okedigba, the Senate President, who is the third most important person in the hierarchy of importance at the apex of leadership in the country, led other high flyers in the various arms of government, the private sector and private concerns to solidarize with the House Leader, Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adeola and the Okedigba family. The registry process began with the couple being asked pointed questions relating to their decision to stay together as one and the legal implications of any of the party managing at any point in the marriage. They said their marital vows and exchanged wedding rings. At this point, they signed the marriage register in the presence of their parents and the registry officials who later presented them with their marriage certificate, which was greeted with a deafening applause. I, Oluwale Okedigba, and I, you, and I, you, Damilola Okedigba, for as long as both of us shall live, for as long as both of us shall live. Amen. Amen. I, I, Damilola Okedigba, and I, you, and I, you, Oluwale Okedigba. As long as God of us shall be. As long as God of us shall be. Amen. 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 Are we happy? and their family members took a video and photo session to wrap up the registry aspect of the event. Of course, 
The most exciting aspect of any military marriage is the spectacle put together to formally welcome the officer quitting bachelorhood into the respected league of married ones. The officers usually drawn from all arms of the military, army, air force and the navy looking sparkling and very smart in their ceremonial dresses with their sword pointed in the sky form a guard of honor which the groom and his wife acknowledge in measured steps. The reception that finally brought the Dami Lola and Army Captain Oluwale Okedigba's multi-legged marriage extravaganza to a glorious climax clearly showed that a lot of valuable time was spent by all those who were involved in the packaging of the event to put everything in the best perspective possible without undermining quality. The decoration of the hall, which blended perfectly with the color chosen for the event, was complemented by the guests, men and women, who painted the entire arena in the sky blue color chosen for the event. As for the dignitaries that graced the event, it was like the combination of influence of the house leader, Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adeola, the mother of the bride, whose image looms very large on the political horizon of our country, and that of her eldest sister. Mrs. Fatima Bamidele, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Health. The ultimate technocrat, who was honored by a very impressive number of past and present permanent secretaries, heads of service, was responsible for the very loaded guest list of A-list dignitaries in every facet of Nigeria's public and private life. The Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Honorable Aminu Waziri Tambowal, the wife of the Vice President, Hajia Amina Muhammad Namadi Sambu, ministers and wives of some governors and other top grade dignitaries were all there to give their undiluted solidarity to both families. The star studded event formally began with the joyous entry of the parent of the couple, Honorable Muli Katz Akonde Adeola, and retired Brigadier General Okedigba and wife. Again, the colorful and majestic entry of the couple led by the colleagues of the groom who filed out ahead of the bride and groom as the guards brigade band supplied the appropriate music captured the attention of everyone as the audience stood on their feet to welcome them until the couple formally settled into their seat. The military had not quite finished with their special offering to send forth their colleague into the sacred marriage institution. This time, the groom, Army Captain Oluwale Okedigba, who read history at the Nigeria Defense Academy, NDA, was formally presented a sword with which he was instructed to protect his wife from any danger. I, Captain Christopher Oko Anyamu, of the Nigerian Army Ordnance Corps, Present to you this sword on behalf of the Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. Though a weapon of destruction, you have the singular honor and privilege to use this sword in cutting your wedding cake and thereafter to protect your darling wife, Princess Daniela. Congratulations.
The chairman of the wedding ceremony was Senator Issa Mohammed, who in his address attributed the very impressive attendance at the event to the goodwill the families of the bride and groom enjoy from their friends, which is a fallout of their good nature. The cutting of the wedding cake was supervised by the wife of former governor of Oyo State, Mrs. Kemi Alawakala, who was supported by a rich array of observers. The feeding of the couple was supervised by the FCT Minister of State, Oloye Jumoke Akinjide, who indeed represented the First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan, at the event. The groom, Army Captain Oluwale Okedigba, bid his lovely wife, Damilola, hands down in the way he gyrated with the latest dance steps to the different genres of music on offer during the couple's dance. Army Captain Oluwale Okedigba was clearly the audience favorite. <laughs> Another side attraction put up by the military was when the bride and the groom were asked to conduct a guards brigade band. This they did in turn to the admiration of the guests. Former Governor Christopher Alao Akala of Oya State, who was the father of the day, gave the couple some useful nuggets of advice on how to nurture their marriage to success. I love the way Carrida and Dalton are teaching the cap of her husband. She can never hear him. I think that will hear no more happy. As you're coming through your marriage, I wish you all the best. Uh, remember the son and daughter of who you are. I uh, want to commemorate the parents of the of the group for the version of one lesson that you have to take care of my daughter, Dam Lola. And uh, Dam Lola, you are going to a very good house. So all that money has taught you, please that the place to practicalize it and uh, let your husband enjoy it. The toast of the couple was ably proposed by the younger brother of the groom, who told the audience that he was the one used as the divine instrument that brought the couple together, and he was happy that the whole episode had taken a very positive turn. He then asked everyone to raise up their glasses to toast to the success of the marriage. The bride, Damilola Okediba, threw her bouquet of flowers which his spinster friends lined up to cast. There was a huge media present at the wedding of Dami Lola and Ami Captain Oluwale Okedigba. The shots and visuals of the very exciting event will certainly make headline stories in the following weeks. But trust the BC Olatula Show and BOS International Magazine to give you the inimitable exclusives, which has been our trademark and makes us the most preferred program when it comes to events of this nature. Biscan Communications heartily congratulates Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adiola, the leader of Nigeria's House of Representatives, and Brigadier General Okedigba retired on the success of the marriage of their children.